Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear grade three students. Uh, welcome to the English video, the second English video um, in our second week. So today is the vocabulary day. And here are the words that we would like you to learn so that they could help you read it while reading the story and make you understand how the story goes on. <clears throat> so have a look at the, the words, guys. And here we go one by one to know what does each word mean. So just let me, yes. So here are the words. I guess that some of them are easily, um, some, some of them are uh, known by you. And the first word is bat. And as you can see, the bat is the bird. It's a black one. And the, it's normally, it normally flies at night. So here is the sentence so that you can understand how to use the word. And of course, bat is a noun. It refers to the name of, because it's the name of a bird. Uh, and here is the definition. You have, you can read it. And that, that's the sentence, which is, which we used bat in. Uh, sometimes um, a word has more than one meaning. So the second meaning here, he received a bat and a glove for his birthday. So guys, can you give the bat, the bird, to someone as his birthday present? I guess that in our Arab world, it's, it's not a good idea at all. But in some other countries, it may be a good one. But here, a bat, look at the picture. That's the second, a second meaning of the word bat. So that's the wooden thing that the player uses in baseball so that he can uh, hit the ball. Um, so if I have the word bat, how do I know if it's bat the bird or bat the wooden or metal thing used in baseball? It's according to the context. So I have to read the whole sentence and try to understand and implement which which interpret which meaning is this? So this is this will be so easy. And to blow something. Yes, they blew up the candles. And this is the meaning of blow as a verb. And uh, we have another meaning which is to move because of the wind. Like look at the, the leaves of the tree. And of course, that word is so easy because we were, were suffering all the time because of the, our battery of our mobiles are uh, always die soon. So we need to charge them. So that's the word and that's a picture that reveals what the, the, the meaning of the word. So this is, I guess, so easy. And the word fuel is, um, is, a, bit, uh, is it's a common word that many people know. And we say that we are going to fuel the car or this car is out of fuel, so it can't move. So this is one meaning of the word. And of course, well, most of the time we're plugging, some, we're plugging something into the outlet of the electricity. So plug the computer into the outlet so that it will power on. So here you're plugging something. To unplug is the opposite. And here is a new word. So the word is term. Term, as usual, you have a sentence so that you can guess what does the word mean. So the US president term in office is 40 years. So it, I guess that the word term here refers to a period of time. Uh, of course, it's an English word. It, what I mean that it's a word that is used in England and the opposite word that is used in America is semester. So we have three semesters. And in the past, we had two terms. So you use term as in British English and semester is in English, in American English. And the word virgin. Of course, the word term, we forgot to say that we use Mr. Zaid, Mr. Ziad uses the word in science because he is always telling you some scientific terms which are um, definitions and things that, is, that are related to science. And now we have the word vagin, vagin. So vagin, our, grand, our group needs a leader with vagin. 
the normal meaning of the word vision is the ability to see and understand at, at the same time. So vision here means a way of thinking. Yeah, he has a way of thinking and it should be a good one. So uh, that's the word, that's the meaning of the word uh, vision. Here we have some questions that we would like you to go through, like a source of energy or strength. So a source of energy can be a bat or plug or below or power. So the word is power because that's energy. And you have some other questions that I would like you to go through and they're all answered here. And we move to the page 43 in which you're going to practice um you're going to practice answering some questions related to your vocab so here choose the word from the box on the right that matches that each definition on the left and you have to read the word on the line uh, here we have five definitions and we have one two three four five six seven so I have two extra words so you have to read here of course why if you're going to watch the video you pause it then you answer everything, then the answers will show up on the screen like this. So here is the practice for the words that we have already studied. And if we move to the second question, it's mean, mean mostly the same. You choose a word from the box, the box above, the best matches each clue. Now, this is not a definition. So I say some toys need this to run. That's not a definition. It's a clue. I'm giving you some hint. I'm telling you that my word is related to uh, toys. So can I say that that are related to toys? Uh, I forget the words. Um, like the word turn. So I say battery. So battery is the, the suitable word needed for this. And you have to read each each clue and decide which word is this. Okay. Uh, that's the whole thing. Thank you so much. And you have to write the re entry. Uh, we would like you to try this and try writing. Um, they say that pretend the power went out at your at your own house. So now you're going to be to behave like uh, the hero of the story. So what's the name of the hero of our story? Charlie, yes. So now we would like you to behave like Charlie. Suddenly, power is off. There's no power. So how you're going to behave? We'd like you to use as many words as you learned from the story in your journal entry or diary entry. Thank you so much and um, good luck, my friends. See you.